back here doing? You out of order. I'm out of order. You out of order. Y'all always stay out of order. Like y'all hair do tonight is out of order. Yeah. Why the f is y'all so upset? Right. Y'all two dollar ass f thing. Two dollars. Two dollars. Y'all yeah. yeah. should be a mad fake right now, Jocelyn. I don't like that sh at the end of the day, you supposed to come to us like a real b Why the f are y'all questioning me or handling me like, I, I haven't gave like y'all an opportunity. No, no, fuck it is, do not. Cause she don't want us a part of this f cabaret, that's why. No, well, y'all think y'all harder than everybody, but you're not. Y'all you the game up and y'all f***ing yourself up. And guess what, right now, y'all two got the wicked storyline. Because I'm a businesswoman and y'all don't want to see that? Well, what business you, you got to show You want to see b struggling. You got and pay for tag. How you if know you, that? How you know that? Toyota. Your great Toyota got a paper No, no, no. Did they say you got evicted from your house? Because oh, guess oh. what? Because I don't care about cars like that. Because cars ain't sh to me. That's the f in the pre no. time you got. All I wanted to do is help this f and they're questioning me? The thanks I get is disrespect? Let me take you back to the beginning and tell you why I had to walk these two dollar ass like a mother doll. What up, y'all? It's the Puerto Rican princess, baddest b in the game. Jocelyn is cabaret is here. You already know what it is. When I used to be a stripper, I had guys like T Pain, Janet Jackson, some of the biggest superstars at the time that always wanted me to be in their music videos. I guess I'm just a famous ass. B I ran all the strip clubs. I danced in every strip club that you can think of in Miami. And I ran that shit. I made all the money. Everybody used to come looking for me, the Puerto Rican princess, Jocelyn Hernandez. And guess what? It's still the same way. Now, I got some of the baddest in Miami that I took under my wing, and I'm showing them the game. How to really handle business, how to really get that money, to show them how to handle strong, to show them how to be a bad Jocelyn and Scabaret always been so important for me because my passion for music is doing music, performing, practicing, rehearsing. I put it all together in my mind that I can have a cabaret without showing up. I'm doing my own thing. I'm taking matters into my own hand. No more Stevie J. It's all about me and my life and what I want to do. I'm a mother, I'm a fiance, and I'm a badass We get that money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sex drugs. Let's keep it raw. I ain't really got no interest if your love is small. The brothers around your neck, now bad boy, bring me on. When you get finished with it, you gon' need some Tylenol. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love them all. You ain't gotta get into my business, cause I told them all. On top, now watch me rock it like a seesaw. You don't like your bitch, then sue me, I'm my brother law. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Little, little, this, little, that. Oh my God, babe, this is so beautiful. I you like love it, it. Babe? It is, it's beautiful out here for I cannot believe. It's amazing out here. We are here. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel amazing, I feel good. Oh my gosh, you've been running away from me for so long. Like, <laughs> Not that long. You, look nah. at you, right back here right now. Yeah, right back, back where here I'm right supposed now. to be. My fiance ballistic is amazing. Nothing more, nothing less. How you Man, feel? I'm so excited. I mean, I feel great just because coming from a, a situation like you know what I mean, love and hip hop, it was just really not a good place for me to be at. Yeah. You know, it was so toxic, and I was just around so many toxic people. Yeah. I feel like I needed to get away. When I quit love and hip hop, I was really frustrated. I I I, I didn't want to be bothered with anyone in love and hip hop. I did not want to be bothered with anyone in BH1. I didn't want to be bothered with Mona. I didn't want to be bothered with the franchise. You know, their ratings ain't shit now. No, I was just going to say that. That <laughs> drop. So if they lost ratings, it went after me to keep them. I did what I had to do for the years that I was there, and I got the f I knew that Mona and I knew that BH1 could have made me uh, executive producer. 
Yeah. You know, I know they could have made me a second producer. I second everything that they f had. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely I second producer. You were definitely the one that stood out more. And than they always wanted everybody. to film. They always wanted to film some both. I was like, nah, let's not film that. Let's go film this. It was really time for me to exit. Leave Love and Hip Hop, leave Mona, leave VH1, leave my baby daddy, and, and come do my own thing to Miami. As soon as I ran away from that place, I met you, really. Yeah. I don't know how you deal with my crazy ass and everything, everything, and everything I have going on with co-parenting with this fool. It's whatever. Ain't nobody gonna stop the show now. I'm, I'm not, just... not, not Mona, not Stevie. You know what I'm saying? He just better stay, stay in line with um, making sure to help us co-parent and raise the little one. And as simple as that. I feel like if you wasn't around, Stevie would still definitely be trying to control me. Yeah. Even though he's married. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When you have somebody like like me, the king, come in, you know what I mean? He has no choice. Now, I have control of me, and he has control of faith. <laughs>